Alright, thanks everyone for watching my uh, last tutorial on how to model an ear. Uh, this time we're going to start working on the inner part of the ear that indents right here. And you see the little fork in the road. So we're going to work on that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're in the front viewport and we're going to go under polygon and we're going to select the polygon underneath down here and the reason we're selecting that when you hit alt x so it's invisible we're going to hit extrude and then you're going to squeeze it in just a little by hitting the scale and using x to the right so hit ok and we're going to scale it a little bit more click that and then move it so it matches the circle. So what we're going to do um, is continue extruding till we get to this port point, and then we'll go into the vertices. So you extrude again, and we're going to extrude, move it up just a little, extrude one more time, and then hit OK. So move this up just a bit and we're going to go under vertices as you see right here it curves and it's not completely curving select these two vertices these four vertices pull inwards select these and select these And pull these ones in a little bit. And we're going to pull these down to about here. And if you notice, um, there's going to be a little, it's supposed to come in a bit. Don't, we'll fix that by, we're going to add. And we just select these. And so there's our ear. The inner part. So this fork in the road, as you see, we're going to go under polygon mode. And I'm going to use Alt W so that you can see the actual, without all the grids there, select this polygon. Going back to my front viewport. Oops. So you're selecting this polygon. And we're going to hit extrude, and this is going to follow that, this little fork. So hit extrude, and we're going to hit ex pull it down a little bit, and then extrude one more time, and then hit OK. So, so here we go back into vertices, and this is where we'll pull the vertices to match. our inner ear. We're going to actually add it. No, we won't add another one. So basically, you can select these and move it forward a little so it's a lot better. So you pull this out more, a little more, and up. these two up. Okay. So this is your this is the fork and then we're gonna continue down on the ear. So here we will select this polygon. You can always make sure you select it the right one. And then we 
we're going to hit extrude. OK. Move this way. Save it. So it's here. Then we're going to hit extrude again. Basically, we're going to extrude it all the way. To there but what you're gonna notice is that it's coming too far down you could always sw so we're gonna switch back to vertice mode select the vertices and we're going to um, move them so it becomes more of a round shape and it's not getting in the way of the other our outer ear So we go back to Polygon, and we're going to Extrude, click OK, and then Extrude one more time, and then OK. So there. So now we select our vertices, and we're going to pull these ones up. Oops. So we select these with these two, and we're going to move them up and out. And now we start so make sure it follows and then pull up and in and a little out there. So here as you see is our inner part of our ear. What we're gonna do is um, connect all the vertices right now so that we get the inner part the inner indentation what we're going to do is go under target weld and as you notice we have vertice each vertice actually lines up so best way is you go into your perspective mode it's a lot easier to see um, which vertices you're grabbing target weld and we're going to select the inner one with this one. And you can all X to see what you're pulling. To see that it goes towards the inside. So now we're going to go in, select this one, connect to this one. And then we're going to select this one. This one, So as you see, it's pulling it inwards. It would seem it would be better to, let's see, undo, go from the inside out. Double check um, if you notice that it's not working. It could be because this is not cut out. So we need to cut, select, actually, select all these polygons here. And we're selecting these because it needs to have the um, so we could connect them so we delete this so there now 
we turn back to the front viewport and go under vertices and this is where we start connecting target weld this one with this one this one with this one this one with this one and we got this one with this one And then with that one, and then we need to pull this one to this one, and then this one to this one, okay, so we'll, because we'll, we're running out of time, um, you, in the next video, I will continue with showing where else you need to connect it, and then next thing we'll work on adding more shape to it and then extruding the back to be able to connect to the head thank you for watching and please leave your comments and I'll get back to you soon